going on, everybody? It's Jay Wright, and I want to thank you all for joining me for another episode of Jay Plays. Today, we're taking on Boston Nursing Home. Now, uh, Boston Nursing Home is a indie first-person horror game that was released on September 16th of this year. I've had this in my queue for quite a while now, and I'm excited to get to it. Usually, I do these intros on the main screen. For those who have been with the channel, you already know that. I decided to go ahead and click into the actual game because the intro sequence is... Not the intro sequence, but the title page is so damn loud, and there's no options page to turn down the music that I had to move into the actual game. Now, hopefully, the levels kind of the audio levels kind of level out as the game progresses, but if it doesn't, I'll try and adjust that in post. But anyway, the point is that music was so unnerving to listen to that it's already kind of got me in a, a state of uneasiness. So it did a really good job of throwing me right off the bat into a state of whatever happens if a book falls off a shelf, if a door closes by itself, or if something creepy just jumps out, I'm jumping at it. Like, no matter what, I'm jumping because I just, I feel like I'm in that mood because of that intro sequence. So well done on that. But what do we know about Boston Nursing Home? Well, according to Steam, it says, Boston Nursing Home is a first-person indie horror game. There's luggage stacked on the ground, blood stains on the wall. I can see the blood stains. They say get out. What happened here, and why did people move out in such a hurry? What unpredictable disaster made everything lose control? The truth, waiting to be uncovered. I like it. I love it a lot. And I can't wait to find out what the truth is. So, last but certainly not least, thank you all for checking out the channel right now. I've noticed that we've grown to 18 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everybody who has signed up. Again, I know it doesn't sound like a lot to other people, but I really appreciate it. For, from, us, from us going to five to 18 in such a quick amount of time. I, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for joining. So, shouts out to you. And without further ado, let's jump into Boston Nursing Home. All right. Oh, that's right. That's right. So, like, when you walk, there is a very weird sound. So, either I'm pushing something or I'm walking on ice. Oh, you vey. All right, what do we got here? Left mouse, interact with item. Right mouse. Wait, what? Left mouse, interact with item. What? Right mouse, alternative use. Sounds, uh, sounds good to me. I can get these to work. Okay, yeah, there's focus. Oh, it's a nice little zoom in feature. So I know it's gotta be super dark on your guys' end right now. Hopefully we can get some light going here. Use left mouse to pick up an item. A piece of a diary. Press F to use the flashlight. I don't have a flashlight. Okay, maybe I can read it. Hello. Hello. August 20th. The nursing home is abandoned. We are told to move out ASAP. It says this place will be shut down permanently. Hope it's not. I love this place. Even with the creepy background generator noise and the what sounds like a leaky something. Dismissed. I'm still trying to learn the control, so bear with me as we pick up a battery. Please don't let that be for the flashlight. I didn't mean to blow that out. Not mean to blow that out. Uh, flashlight. There we go. Oh, we got a crouch function here. Oh, that's cool. Now, what were we walking on? The oh, it's the carpet. Why does the carpet sound like that? Oh, no, no, no. We have to adjust some audio. Give me one second, guys. To take care of that. Okay, so the audio on this one is a little kind of, uh... Finicky to work with, just because it doesn't seem like every step actually produces a sound. Or now it is, but for a while there, it was like every other step was producing a sound. And that does kind of jump up with how loud it is. But if I turn it too low, you start losing the um, the actual atmosphere of the game, which which sucks. Anyway, let's go look at some blood, man. What the hell are we in, dude? Like, are we going tap dancing after this? What the hell? Oh, like, that's... That must be the blood on the floor they were talking about. Should I probably not follow that? All right. Well, so far, so bloody. Got a woman's... Oh, God, I'm not going to want to go in there. I hate going into restrooms. This game does look really good, though. Like, I'm actually... Like I said, the music already put me in a very susceptible state to getting scared. And the environment... Is also lending itself, and the sounds are really crisp, even if they're really loud. Get out of Boston. Oh, so not just the hospital, Boston in general, like the whole city. Uh, let's check out something. So just, I've just been kind of like exploring, making sure I don't miss anything. Storage. 
whatever the hell's back there. This actually reminds me of um that movie uh ah with Hayden Christensen where everybody in the city disappears. Was it like I exist or that might have been the last line he said in the movie, something like that. But like everybody uh well not everybody yeah everybody most of the people in the world disappear and like there's like four or five of them that end up at a bar and like if you whoa why is my why is my light going out why is my why is my light going out why 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 where'd my light go did i lose power or what i didn't even get like a battery um indicator to tell me the power was going out that's not good right, where's my inventory how about that can i put the battery flashlight batteries you gotta be effing me all right, so that's going to be... How do I switch over? That that sucks. So I'm going to have to be a lot quicker with my exploration. My fault. I didn't know that I had life to this damn thing. So we're going to turn it off for now. And go over to the... Um, I guess we'll check out the woman's bathroom, right? All right, woman's bathroom. Hello? I believe I am too a woman. So this is completely okay. Nobody jump out at me. I must move quicker. I forgot I have a timer on my flashlight here. Oh god. Who's gonna be in the one that's effed up? Oh god. Oh. I see. Oh. There was blood, but uh... Nothing of note. I can't see. Hold on. All right. Well, that was that. Let's move on to the, um, I don't know. Whatever the hell this room is. Security room. Okay, or not. Let's move on to the, um, uh, whatever the hell this room is. Looking for some friends. I don't want to be alone. Try not to waste my battery because I've only got one. Yo, it gets uber dark without this flashlight, though. Like, I don't know how to. How much flashlight do I have left? Okay, a good amount. But, and I actually have like no idea what my objective is other than the synopsis of find out what the hell happened, everybody. Uh, there's another scrap of paper here. Uh, we can turn our flashlight off. I don't want to waste my battery. What a tough day. I hope to pack package the elder stuff for a day. There's still so many luggage left there. What a mess. I see. I don't want to take this paper. Neither do I. Hello. Okay. I got, I got off. About the TV. Well, that was a source of light. Keep that TV on. All right. Moving forward. Left to right, right? Left to right. What's going on here in storage room? It seems like such an unnerving game. Like, nothing's happening, and I'm still, like, on edge, man. All right, well, we got candles, but I can't seem to pick any of them up, so that kind of sucks. Aha! No, 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 no. I want that. I want that. Give me that. Give me that. How do I... Are you shitting me? How do I do this? Are you kidding? How do you... How do you take batteries? How do you... Oh, maybe if I focus, maybe? Focus, take. There we go. All right. Just got to be really precise with it, gentlemen. Really precise. How about this bottom shelf? Can I take that? It's locked. It's locked. All right, well. Got a battery. That's all that matters. I was really waiting for somebody to be waiting behind me, but I guess not. That looks like a hiding spot. All right, I guess that's it for the storage room, huh? Let me take the flashlight off for a little bit. All right, what haven't we explored then? Another thing about it, did the synopsis tell us why the hell we're here? Like, did we have a family member here, or like, why did we come here in the first place? Easy ice. Okay. Uh, that was kind of a, oh yeah, upstairs, upstairs with all the blood. That's what we forgot to explore. About to say, was that it? I turned down the volume for you guys, hopefully, to where it's a bearable uh, sound of him stepping. But my gosh, these high heels are killing my ears right now. Right mouse to unlock. 
There's no key in inventory. Are you shitting me? Where is the key at? I didn't find a key. Oh, uh, I guess I'll go find the key. Anybody have a key that I missed? Waste basket, bas basket, the basket. One of y'all have a key? No, no key. Wasting my flashlight, guys. I could really use this key. I'm gonna turn this off. Oh. This is a scary corner of the bathroom with that light, man. Still not seeing a key. Oh my god, it was right here the whole time. I'm an idiot. I didn't see it last time because it blends in with the damn toilet. I gotta zoom in, grab it. First floor key added. That must be something scary gonna happen now that I have the key. No, are we good? Anyway, never saw it, but there was the key on the bathroom toilet. And I wasted a whole battery to find it. I'm guessing the first floor room key is for the security room that's on the first floor room and not for the upstairs area. So security. Use the damn key. Key to open this door to the second floor. I stand corrected. Even though it's called the first floor room key, it's for the second floor. Wow, nothing creepy happens. I won't be able to see it anyway. All right. Let's follow the blood trail. Yep. Man, this does look really, 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 really good, though. Going to the second floor. New sounds for our feet. Yeah. I see you. And I see your paintings. I'm gonna shut the door behind us. Just in case whoever sees us plans on meeting. Oh! Oh! Who's that? I am a man, it turns out. I'm not gonna open the door for them. I'm just gonna keep walking. I don't I don't think we need to meet them. I don't think we're ready for that. It's okay. Just gonna walk. Keep walking. It's a long hallway. It's a very long hallway, like red rum type hallway. Door open? No? How about this door? No? Who was the man that, like that looked like Ruvik, man? Who was the check behind us? Nope, everything seems to be kosher. Oh wait. Wait, did it get darker? Everything's still locked. The long corridor of hell. All right. What do we got here? Crouch to pick up item on the ground. What item on the ground? I'm glad you said something about it because I would have never seen that tiny ass battery. Yeah, you gotta like, there's gotta be an indicator light or something for these, man, because you can't see anything. A piece of diary. Norum ipsum dolo. I probably shouldn't read that before I summon something. April 1st, 31. Confirm. Hello. I just get dark on me all of a sudden. Oh no. Oh no. Can't open it. That's not a good thing. What changed? What? Because I can't open this door, so what? Unless. Maybe I'm supposed to use my key. I don't have a key. All right, I'm going back. Don't have the key, can't seem to access that. I picked up a battery, not really much help there, but we'll go back and see if something's creepy. I mean, like, no matter what, this game is unnerving. Oh my God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go down, oh, this one opened. Oh, they both opened. Oh, look for something different in even rooms. All right. Well, let's see here. Two pillows. That's locked. This one's got two pillows, and that one's got one uh, one pillow. That's definitely odd, I'd say. I can't interact with the dirty mildewy pillows. Interesting. 
Oh, are the paintings different? That's like a mountain and that's like a lake. Well, that's locked. All right, well. It sucks that uh, I could be missing batteries right now on the floor that are the size of like a pencil lead. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna go to this other room now. Look for something different in even rooms. Yeah, that was the only different thing was the, the painting. So let's change the paintings up. I did that. What? Something unlocked now because of that or? What does that do for us? Paintings. The paintings were different. Now what? What does that mean? I found it. Now what? Maybe... I'm gonna get snatched up running through that hallway like that and not looking. Okay, well... The paintings are for surely different, but it doesn't seem to really do anything for me. So I'm gonna go try the door again and see if maybe... Wait, is that door open now? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, we gotta continuously do it. Okay, I see. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. Excuse my language, man. Oh my god. Woo! That was loud in my ear. All right. That's the same on both sides. What about over here? Ah, you got a blanket. They are the same room, so I guess I should have saw that coming. Uh, but this one's got a blanket, so what does that mean? How do I interact with the thing that has a blanket? Aha! Yes! Oh my god, I hate that you have to zoom in. Gotta get, like, real dexterous with my fingers. Alright, so this has got a blanket, but I can't do anything to the blanket, so, uh... So, um... How do I let you know that I know what the difference is? Are the next doors open yet or no they're not so obviously i haven't done whatever it is it needs to be oh wait no they do have a blanket um what else is different then what else could possibly be different is it because there's a trash can behind the other door there is there is a trash can and since these rooms are the same i should be able to get a nice little bathroom from over here right yeah buddy all right we're following the same logic Um, wait, damn, I'm already out? Really? Why is my light getting so weak? It's the trash can, right? Yeah, this one has a trash can. What do you want me to do? The fuck? Aha! E room 215 added. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Moving on. Anything creepy in the hallways yet? Nope. Hallways are still the hallways. Uh, key to rooms 216. Key. Oh, wait. Are these not the rooms? Can't tell because there's no numbers on the door. Still gotta open the security door, I know that. Yeah, that's locked. That's locked. Gotta open the security door, and I think that's the only door downstairs that we still have to open. Maybe one of these keys will fit in this lovely door. Uh, nope, let's not do that. Uh, try key 215. Okay, or not. I'm not really. <sighs> God. It's it's got to be one of these damn doorways because this is the second floor, right? So one of these is not doing what it's supposed to do or I'm not doing something right with it There we see I ah, this is such a weird way of doing this I knew it was these doors and yet I couldn't get them to unlock the first time So it's right click and then left click. Oh, uh, well, it's dark in this one guys my flashlight is 
Still got battery, but it's it's dying, I guess. I don't know. I can't see in here. Oh, this room is just dark. That's all it is. It's just a super dark room. Oh, it's got books. Am I gonna have to memorize the books? Is one of the books different? Nope, think I figured out the answer. It was that book. That book was a different one. It was whichever one <laughs> that it allowed me to interact with. That was a different one. You got some batteries for me? No? All right, let's go back on the other side. Nothing creepy, nothing creepy. All right, opening the door. Whoa, okay. Doesn't matter, both these rooms are effed. Wait, have there always been plaques above the doors? I am an idiot. Oh, I never saw those. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. Forgive me, developer. I'm the idiot. I am clearly uh, the idiot. We know there's not going to be anything over there because... Because there's nothing in the other one. So these are the things that are different because I can interact with it. So because I did that, I'm guessing the next room should be open for me now. Oh, what do you know? They are. All right, am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. I did it. I found the difference. Are these open now? Very creepy. Very, very creepy. These are the rooms for the elders? These are... Very bland rooms. Can I play with the record player? Nope. Uh, the hell? Who shut the door and who's knocking? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Hello? Thanks for the, um, for the battery. Appreciate it. Gonna kneel down. Don't hit me on the back of the head. I took it. Cause that's what you wanted me to do. Okay. We find the difference and not know that we found the difference. I'm assuming it's actually in the middle. Um. Middle over here somewhere. Right. That makes sense. It would happen again. <laughs> That's such a cool trick. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, I'm a brave, brave man. Okay. Hello? Oh, no. They just gave me a battery again. That was dope of you. And you're not going to scare me. All right. Cool. Well, thanks, buddy. So am I free to progress or... How does this work? Am I good? Did I find the secret? We go with nah, dog. That wasn't it. I was just experiencing the terror of the rooms, but that wasn't the difference. All right, well, this one's got a leak of water. This one has a leak of water. They both have the suitcase over there, the suitcase over there. What about the items? Uh-huh. Huh. They didn't look different to me though. Uh yeah, yeah. What could be la difference? Asking. Wait, did the other one have a sofa? I don't remember the sofa. There's a sofa in here? Aw, oh, damn it, there's a sofa in here. Oh wait, 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 wait. Aw, damn it. No, that's not it.
Are you shitting me? It's the puddle? How is the puddle different? I don't even know. I just, I literally, oh man. As you can see, I had to take my jacket off because I was sitting here, I was getting hot, man. Oh my gosh, dude. This whole room thing, I, I, I don't know, man. That last one kind of sucked. Is the puddle that different? Oh, there's no sound. I mean, there's no uh, splash effect. There's no ripples on that one. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the hell, man. That was difficult. Or if not difficult, it just it took me a minute to, to look through everything because I was so sure that it was the record player. And it definitely was not. But uh, here we are. Moving forward, finally, hopefully. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm ready to see what happens next now. No more rooms. My gosh. Why is this room so damn dark? Oh, bathrooms are great. Bathrooms always have the secrets that you want. Not necessarily the secrets that you need, but the secrets that you want. The secrets that you deserve. Press middle mouse to focus. Why do I need to focus on the hand dryer? Or is it on the, the pirate skull? What do you want me to focus on? Yeah, I, also, I spent like so many batteries. We had four, we're down to one after this one that's in here. Because uh, my battery kept dying and it gets so dark in there, you can't complete anything without a, uh, without the flashlight, you know? So that sucks. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's something in there that I was supposed to see that I can't see. Is it underneath the vent? Because this is where it told me to start looking. Hand dryer. Is it the skull and bones? Are oh, we doing that thing where we... Okay, there we go. Toilet. It's... I mean, like like I said, this game is unsettling, but it for me, it does seem to... It's so hard to find what it wants me to look at or do that... It becomes less scary because I have to focus so intently on... What am I missing? Like that key right there blends in so well for me. I do not see that damn key. Can we like make them glow or illuminate or something? Finally, we got the security room key though. So we know what to do with that. We finally for once in this entire playthrough, we know what to do next. Can this door open now? It cannot. Got mad dark in here. This game also seems to go through like periods where it goes like bright and then it just goes dark by itself. Like uber dark. Somebody at the end of the hall waiting for me. Who's gonna come out one of these rooms? Somebody's gonna run across or snatch us up or something, right? Yeah, it has to be. Wow. It really just let us go all the way back down that long ass hallway with nothing to scare us. Interesting. Where are you saving your scares for then, buddy? Follow the pile. Somebody just like evaporated right here. All right, so we will run over to the security room now. We will right click, then we will left click, and then we will open. Whoa, what the hell was that? It was like hair or something that just fell down. Will this room finally show us what happened to the residents of Boston Nursing Home. Or nah. What does that say? Code. Oh god, hold on. Focus! Code is... What's going on? Oh, that one got me. Oh, the code disappeared. You... I needed that code. You took... I needed that code. I didn't get a good look at it. Alright, well, Ruvik took the damn code away, so... Are there any batteries? I could really use batteries, because I definitely use all the batteries upstairs. Nope. I don't even know what that code would be to. We haven't found anything that needed a code. Need batteries. One of y'all has a battery. Either a battery or a severed hand. Nope. Okay, there's a key to... Okay, well, now we're going back upstairs. So we came... We went upstairs to get downstairs to go back upstairs. Love it. Everything about it. And we got pills? Why do we have pills? Painkiller. 
Why do we have painkiller? What? What will we be using those for? Okay, that just turns on and off the monitor. Is there anything else in this room? Probably, I'm probably missing it. Because I am trash at seeing. Is that a battery down there? Sure it looks like one. No, it's just a leg of something. Yeah. Alright, well. Guess we're going back upstairs to the corridor. Now this, this has to be the run, right? Where something comes through one of these doors. Either it runs across, or it runs at me, or it snatches me as I cross the pathways. Or he appears at the end of the hallway and I have to turn around and run back. One of these things is going to happen because it has to happen because... Battery died. Wasn't a... Not what I expected to happen. Indeed, you've got me. Did not think the whole dead body in the bags was going to pop up there. We got one battery left. I'm trying to save it. Wait, wait for night to pass. It gets super dark. And then... Wait, no, it just got super dark for no reason. It's not coming back. What the hell? So dark! What can we do with these painkillers, by the way? Prescription painkillers are powerful... Whoa. Are powerful drugs that interfere with the nervous system's transmission of the nerve signals we perceive as pain. Most painkillers also stimulate portions of the brain associated with pleasure. Thus, in addition to blocking pain, they produce a high. The most powerful prescription painkillers are called opioids, which are opium-like compounds. They are manufactured to react on the nervous system in the same way as drugs derived from the opium poppy, like heroin. The most commonly abused opiate painkillers include oxycodone, hydrocodone, mep meperidine... Hydromorphone and propoxyphene. Uh, I'm gonna use this battery. That's all I really cared about, to be honest with you. Use the key, unlock, open. No, no more doors. No more locked doors. No, no, don't do that. Don't run from me. What the? What the hell? No, don't run from me. I, I would concur, my friend. There's a dresser on the. Um, who is that? What the? F who are you? Emma? That doesn't seem to belong to this world. Who is that? Wait, Grandma's moving. I can't move. Wait, Grandma's moving, and I can't move. I don't feel good. I don't feel good either, but I can't save you. Oh, Shiba. Who's that? <gasps> Grandma? Did I run? I don't know what happened there. But certainly there seems to be an elder woman who is very pissed off at somebody for doing something. And then she went on a murder spree. Is this where I came from? I believe this is where I came from, so we need to go back this way. I don't know why I have my flashlight on, like all the lights are on in this hallway. Third floor. You know what they say about the third floor? That's where you enter hell at. From the third floor. Oh my god, is that a battery? Yes. Thank you, sir. I don't know if there's a health system to this game. I haven't encountered a moment where I've lost some health, so I'm interested what the uh, painkillers do. The game just saved, though, that's, that's cool. <laughs> it just says nope. Um... But since the game saved, this is actually where I'm going to stop for the day. I guess this game is going to be more than one part. I don't know how long the game is going to be, but the fact that we have painkillers implying that there's a health bar system and I haven't run into the health bar system means there must be a whole much, whole bunch more game left to play. I want to thank you all for joining me for this episode. Hopefully you're enjoying this horror game. It's definitely different and probably one of the most scarier games we have found, even if there are little tedious tasks and there are moments where I can't seem to find the damn batteries because they're like this yay big and the keys blink. Point is, thank you all for watching me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Deuces.